Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Legends Arceus. In the last episode, we quelled an Electro, shoved a bunch of food at him, you know how it is. And, um, today, um, I don't know what we're gonna do. I never know what we're gonna do. You should, you should know this by now. But, um, I did a lot, and I mean a lot of off-camera grinding, doing subquests, finding, um, boss satchels and all that, and training up my Pokemon. Speaking of Pokemon, you already know what we gotta do. Um, so... I found two more shinies, you already know. I'm gonna put it on the screen. We got a shiny little derpy boy right here. And we got a shiny Toxicro. So, um, yeah, there they are right there. And, um, I've been catching a lot of alphas too. Usually alphas that we saw and beat us up. And some I found off camera. So, um, I caught, I caught a lot. I mean, a lot of alphas. Starting with the first one. <laughs> And I didn't know this, but if you catch an alpha, they keep their size. So, um, this, this girl right here is literally massive. <laughs> and I caught, uh, an alpha. Yep, I, you know, little derpy boy, bro. And, um, I saved the best for last. I found an alpha low putty. And, um, she's gonna be replacing the one on our team because, you know... I, th I mean, come on, it's an alpha, and, though. Uh, I like Low Punny a lot. It's a really cool Pokemon, and, though. Uh, and, uh... Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Controller dude, but look at her. Just... Ah. Uh, and she, she, she's a really cool Pokemon, and, uh... Yeah, and, um... Uh, She's, she's caught up too. I put a lot of love and care into her, to her levels and stuff, and, um, got some good moves. Level 60, and, uh, she knows play rough too. I've been, I've been using that a lot. You know what, I think, I think I'm about to use that right now, actually. But anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, those are, these are the big highlights of the, off camera grind, especially. Spe All right, I need to stop. But um, I think that Gabite over there can evolve. Yeah, it can. Oh yeah, and um, we're we're a six star we're a six star court member now. So we learned how to get Ultra Balls. See, I got a bunch of Ultra Balls because catching Pokemon, especially Alphas, are so damn hard without Ultra Balls. But um, let's evolve this. Oh yeah, right. I need to put them all back in their balls. Except for you. Right, back in the balls. Alright, now let's evolve Gabite. <laughs> also, I missed a day of recording. Again. And that's literally because I've just been grinding that hard. That if I record, that, that, that was gonna go up at like midnight as usual. But um, yeah, we got a guard chop now. Look at that. Recording a bit, recording at 12 right now, in the morning, not at night. No, no, wait. You know what I mean? Fucking, shut up. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> how big is Garchomp now? Let's see. Bro! You know what, I think we'll take him along on the journey. Cause, why not? He's level 57, he was level 56 when I found him. Okay, let's see, what moves can you learn? Draco Meteor... Outrage, Dragon Call. Okay. Doesn't Outrage confuse you? Or is Confusion not in this game? I never got confused once in this game, which is very surprising. So I'm guessing Confusion is just not in the game in general. I'm gonna get rid of Double Edge because... I don't, I'm not really a big fan of moves that damage you when you use them. Granted, I use Brave Bird. As I like to call Yolo Bird, but like, come on. You can never go wrong with Brave Bird. A normal type move, like, Double Edge ain't gonna cut it. But let's get our main goons back. Also, I got some more Eevee evolutions. Uh, we got, got Jolteon and Glaceon. If we find more Lost Satchels, I can actually get another one. Hopefully, find one this episode. But um, let's get our main team back. Again. 
Also, I didn't know Lily Gant was a fighting type, which surprised me a lot, so... <laughs> it's pretty cool. A grass fighting type reminds me of Galilee. She's basically the Galilee of the team. <laughs> Alright, now that we got our main squad back, let's progress. Let me organize my inventory. There we go. We're, we're doing good on items and all that, so... We don't need to prep a lot. So, we can just get straight to it. Actually, let me check if there's any lost satchels that I missed. Yeah, there's one, but like it was like off the map. And I couldn't get it for some reason, so... But, um, when it comes to side quests, I'm basically caught up with all of my side quests besides besides the side quests that tell you to, like, complete a Pokédex entry of a Pokémon. I did not feel like doing that because I feel like that would take years to do, and I don't know how to do it fast. Maybe you just have to use the Pokémon, but I didn't feel like doing that. Also, there's this one side quest I would like to show y'all after this dialogue. Hmm. So Ward and Melee believe that the frenzies of these Pokémon are some sort of trial set by Almighty Sinnoh. Let's not talk about that person. We cannot know if that is the case or not, but it does beg the question, why ever would this almighty Sinnoh drive the nobles to frenzy? It is it is it angered by something, or does it seek to drive a wedge between, po between people and Pokemon? Well, far be it from us, humans, to fathom the thoughts of Pokemon. And what is the space-time rift, anyway? What caused it to open? Hmm. But you must be tired. Go on then to the Wallflower and get some rest while you can. I've instructed Benning to prepare you his finest potato- Bro! Commander is such, such a likable character, man. I love our commander. Look at my character all happy. The space-time rift kind of reminds me of Super Paper Mario with like the black hole in the background. And it progressively gets bigger and it's just there until you beat the game. The only difference is that the rift is not getting bigger. It just decides to lotion up somebody whenever it feels like it. Dinner's on Commodo tonight. Eat your fill. What an enticing aroma. My appetite just went through the roof. This is generous for the boss. Love the boss, bro. Well, I've heard talk that our progress surveying Pokemon has made gathering ingredients a less enormous or at least less dangerous task. But can we talk about how you've gone from being some nobody from nowhere to basically the hero of Hisui? Yes, yeah, sir. We out here. Indeed, taking on such perilous duties has earned you a great deal of trust, Shiny. It's like I always say, behavior is a mirror that reflects one's true nature. You let your actions do the speaking for you, Shiny, and the, mes and the message is clear as day. It doesn't matter one with where you came from. You're part of the Survey Corps in Jebelite Village now. Oh, like, like we're family. We're family now, bro. We're my boys. The next day. What are we doing today, though? Isn't it nice getting up early? The goat! Is it? It's not as if getting up early changes what you do with the day. Why? Why? Why you gotta act like that, bro? Why? Why? It's wrong with- yes, it does. It opens up possibilities such as responding to Commander Commodore's invitation today in a timely manner. Well, I got this- I got that same invitation I had to wake up even earlier than you to run all the way here for it. Come on, no need to grouse so much over a nice little early wake up. That's what I'm saying. It's wrong with you anyway. Are you coming too? I'm sure we all can guess what the Commander wants with us. <clears throat> Yes, do come. Galaxy Hall is quite close. And yeah, you need to smile like that more. Special me- I need to chill out. <laughs> oh, am I just getting straight TP'd there? Because that loading screen was long. Yep, here we are. You're now quelled the frenzy of four nubbles. On to the next, bro. When word of these frenzies arrived from all over Hisui, I feared what would become of us. But here we are already preparing to quell the final noble. Final? Yeah, when I was saving the game, I only saw like five slots, so... Yeah, who would have dreamed some stranger who tumbled out of the sky would be our salvation? Life never does stop surprising me. The only lord left to be quelled is... 
Avalon, which lives in the Albaster Iceland. What is an Alba? I never heard of that Pokemon in my entire life. He is also the largest of the nobles, according to what Aritas told me. The mission is to quell Avalor, the final lord. Perhaps in doing so, we may trigger some change in the space-time rift as well. Dang, are we that close to finishing the game? We got one noble left. Maybe the Pearl Clan's noble, but my clan and the Galaxy team will have to step up to resolve this too, for the sake of a brighter future. And let us all meet in the cold reaches of Albaster Icelands. Until then... I need to smile like that more. Yeah. Yeah. No matter how many of these frenzy Pokemon you may quell, the fact remains that you are a stranger to our world. No small number of people still regard you with a suspicion and distrust. The most you can hope for is to gain the trust of as many as, it, as many as possible, and to do that you must prove yourself through your actions. I mean, I, I, I quelled four. I think that's enough to be trustworthy. I mean, I think getting one is trustworthy enough. Uh. What's wrong with you? Uh oh. Abra, tell about the Warpole outside at once. Oh, the Warpole. Warpole chilling. Oh. Oh. Oh, back to serious now. Ahem. <laughs> so you're to survey the Albaster Icelands next. This is the most treacherous climb you'll face in all Hisui. It would not be exaggeration to say that you might be the only one among the survey corps I can task with surveying the Albaster Icelands. You know your orders. See your mission through. Can't turn an Albaster Iceland. What I realized, we haven't fought like the other guy, like our rival in a hot minute. Oh my god, a bunch of side quests spawned in. Jesus. So many. Oh yeah, side quest. So here's the one. Here's the side quest I got that actually interests me. If I can get to it without. Yeah, it's called the Seas Legend. Pokemon, the, the Professor Lavatus saw in the ocean might be connected to Pokemon that appears in the Seas Legend. Solve the mystery of the Seas Legend and catch the Pokemon that Professor Lavatus saw. So. If I'm being honest, freaking whatchamacallit, I tried to make a separate video on that side quest alone yesterday, but I gave up because there is so much you need to do to do that side quest. So I just said, you know what, screw it, scrap the video, and I'll just freaking do it another time. The video. The side quest basically has a bunch of steps. You have to evolve a Pokemon, do a lot of extra stuff, and then you find the Pokemon. I already got spoiled on what the Pokemon is because when I tried to figure out how to evolve a Pokemon, it just literally blasted the Seas Legend Pokemon into my face, so... That just ruined the whole surprise, but it's, it's a really good side quest, so... I'll make a separate video on that whenever I feel like it. I'm just grabbing those side quests for when I go off camera. Speak of the devil. Yeah, we haven't fought we haven't fought this guy in a long time. So we're to make for the Albaster Icelands. That's right. I see. Of course, I'm all too aware of the injuries done to some of our own good people because of the frenzies of the other nobles. There seemed little choice but to intervene. But this Avalog out in the Albaster Icelands hadn't harmed the soul as I heard it. Does it really behove us to go out of our way to do him? Avalog's as huge and as strong as they say, there is a good chance he could start an avalanche. Avalanches don't require any Pokemon's help. They occur perfectly well on their own, you know. Confess, I still have my doubts whether we should even be getting involved in this case. No damage has been done so far, but if we send Shiny out there, we'll be putting her in danger of real harm. But people say the frenzies make the nobles suffer, right? So wouldn't it be a kindness for us to quell the, war quell the lord? There's simply so much we don't yet understand when it comes to the noble Pokemon. We don't know whether the frenzies truly are causing them to suffer, nor do we know why they enter these states in the first place, or if this is all connected somehow to the space-time What is it? 
I wonder that the commander hopes will come about from quelling the nobles, or indeed from surveying any of the Pokemon of this land. What is it he hopes to achieve? Protecting everyone? Indeed, the better we understand our Pokemon neighbors, the safer we will all feel and be. But, in, but if the real goal of this mission is to quell the noble for quelling's sake, rather than for the sake of scientific study, then... Professor. I have the same face as him. Uh, no, nothing to bother yourselves about. Doubtless, I'm just being a silly sausage. You got a message to carry out. Haven't you, Shiny? Then we will support you in it. How about I offer my support by giving you another shot at honing your battle? Eh, okay. I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not making this up, bro. <laughs> I did not know we were gonna fight him again. Yes, three Pokemon now. Alright, bring it. Level 46, huh? Strong stuff. Crunch. Easy. Bro. Why is that thing not even evolved yet? Why do you have a level 46? It evolves at like 30. And why is it attacking so much? Granted, I use a star, a strong style, but Jesus, bro, got freaking three licks in. Get out of here. <laughs> it made the original noise again, bro. I never thought I'd hear that noise ever again in a Pokemon game. That, that's still so big to me. Anyway, let's throw a whole alpha at that Pikachu, because why not? Look how big this Garchomp is gonna be. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Earth power this fool. Strong style. 100 power, 100 accuracy. Earth power from an Alpha Garchomp. Get out of here, bro. Mom. The way you battle makes fighting alongside Pokemon look like the most natural thing. Bro, this is literally a brilliant diamond team. <laughs> this sounds like I'll be a pur curliest one dealing with a huge Pokemon like Avalon. As for me, I'll set off for the Alabaster Icelands forthwith. See you there, my girl. Okay. I don't know if we'll, um, we're probably not going to get straight to the Alpha, so we'll just, not Alpha, the Noble, so we're just going to be chilling out here. We'll just see how it goes. If it'll let us just straight up go straight to the Noble and call him, then that's the episode, but if there's like so much in between, I'm just going to split it. My word, it's rather chilly here, isn't it? Glad to see you made it safe and sound in any case. Very few venture to the Alabaster Icelands apart from Tao Hu leading the odd, the odd Supply Corps excursion to gather materials. But the Survey Corps, of course, must go anywhere that Pokemon are found. What I gather, Ice Peak Arena, where you'll find Avalon, is rather far off, I'm afraid. Oh god. Doubtless, this mission to tackle Avalon will be another dangerous one. I don't know that you can from Arena and man to try to keep yourself safe <clears throat> shiny brisk out here isn't it how aren't you freezing that's a really that's a really really good question how are you not freezing freezing i'm practically sweating if you think this is bad just wait this is nothing compared to where we're heading you know I'm beginning to think the problem between us isn't a Diamond Clan thing or a Pearl Clan thing. It's just a you and me thing. <laughs> we'll never see eye to eye on anything, will we? I mean, at least he's honest. I don't see how we could. As long as you and your clan cling to your vision of an almighty Sinnoh that reigns over time, forgive my bluntness, but if such a being even does exist, it's certainly not almighty Sinnoh. 
Yes, yes. Believe what you want. Just tell us where we have to go. I'm sick of... Here, we're heading to see my teacher, and he's only ever found in one place. Which is... You're talking about the... What the... Alright, fellow, right? Where do we find him? <clears throat> At Evelyn's Legacy, obviously. Where else but a great mass of ice could I have met when I set... Okay, okay. We, we be heading somewhere even colder. Where else indeed? Ready to go, Shiny? Sure, stomp off without me. This is why I can't stand people who only care about whether time is passing them by. See what? Uh, <laughs> Bro, she is so bipolar. I know they be. Alright, I'm gonna just delete that whole sentence I was about to say. Anyway, let's just go to the... Let's go meet this... New Pokemon! Look at him! Let's catch him. What are you looking at? Yeah, turn around. Alright, well, he's definitely an animal. Also, what I also learned, you see how the ball, like, started dancing when he was getting caught? If it, like, does a small hop... Yeah, when it does that, I think they're guaranteed to be caught. But when they, like, do some ping-pong motion, I think, they have, I think they have a chance to break out. I've been noticing that a lot, because every time it spins like that, like, the little short hop, freaking... catches instantly. Like... It never fails. Okay, that looks like something I might come back to. Oh, what's up here? Okay, go up here. Um, I already see those things everywhere. <gasps> New Pokemon! New Pokemon! Catch! Dang it. Maybe. Dang it. There you go. And looks like looks like they're chilling, so just yeah, I'm just gonna go up in his face and throw an ultra ball at him. Yeah, when it does that, it has a chance to break up. Where do you think you're going? Oh, you coming with me? Yeah, when it does that, guaranteed catch. I don't I don't know if that's confirmed or not, but that's just from my own personal experience. Saw you guys before. What? These guys. And there we that's I'm assuming that thing's level 70. Level 62? You know what? We got it. Actually might try to catch him. Just doing that's probably gonna be hard. Oh my lord. Word? Okay, I don't wanna kill it. Let's just see what a normal fire thing will do. That was a crazy. Okay. Usually when I try to catch alphas, Lily Gant's usually the carry for that. Because I gave her I gave her sleep powder and stun spore. So I'm gonna stun spore this guy. See if I can catch an alpha on camera here. I've been doing this all yesterday, so. You're gonna learn from the master. Okay, now that it's paralyzed and we got its health low enough, here's 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 the tedious part. Throw as many ultra really gets dead by the way. Throw as many ultra balls as possible at this man until he gets in it. Okay, catching alpha is usually they always take sacrifices, but we still get the Pokemon in the end. Alright, Ultra Ball number one. We got him. I'm telling you, bro, when it does that little baby jump spin, it's a guaranteed catch. It just has to be. Also, I really love how when you catch a Pokemon in this game, a firework comes up instead of it just clicking. I just I just think that's a million times more satisfying. That's probably a hot take if I'm being honest, but I just like it. It's probably it's probably because it's something different. That's why I like it. Alright, caught an alpha on camera. That's usually how I've been catching all of my alphas. Instead of certain ones that can't get paralyzed or sleepy. What the hell? I don't know what you are, but um, get in the ball. Where do you think you're going? Get in the ball. 
We got it. Okay. Um, what are you, I guess? Dang, is this him? Is that him? <laughs> well, that was a real slog fighting through those miserably icy winds to reach this desolate bit of nowhere. Well done, us. This gentleman is Avalug's warden and my most honorable teacher. I do not know how to pronounce that man's name. So show some respect, man. Let's begin with some proper instructions. I am... I'll just call you Rick. I'm Rick. I serve as one of the Pearl Clan's wardens. And you must be shiny right of the galaxy team. Answer me this. Would you or what grounds do you come here to seeking to quell Avalog? Um, he's in a frenzy. So, like, I don't think you're supposed to keep him like that. That leads to my next question. What is wrong with him being frenzy? If he trouble others. Then I have another question. Setting aside any orders, what is it in your heart tells you to do? To call his frenzy. Our mighty lord of the Tundra Avalok has done nothing to trouble any person or Pokemon. Sir, please, calm the f For now, indeed, Avalux causing, causing no trouble. But aren't we also duty-bound to free our people from living in fear that such a colossal Pokemon might begin to wreak havoc at any moment? We are. There's certainly some logic to that, but if that is what you hope to accomplish, then we must judge whether this child is- You're gonna fight me, huh? Who cares about the grandstanding? Let's get to battling. Okay, let's start, I guess. My masculature, my masculature is a hard and unyielding as ice. Think you can break through? His his little squats was making me laugh. <laughs> she was unexpected. I literally caught an alpha version of you. You are nothing compared to my power. And your level. What is with you guys with random Pokemon on your side? I should have strong styled that. I I was honestly expecting it to one shot. Now as for you, like, I need you to get on somewhere. That's a good cool crash. You're gonna burn to death, right? Oh. Okay, I'll just I'll just. Oh oh, damn it! <laughs> okay, whatever. I wanted to get the other Pokemon out the way before I killed him. <laughs> but I guess it's fine. He hits harder anyway, so this person... Bro, are you sure you can't catch these things? I don't have this Pokemon yet. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Guess you're dead. Battle decided. Also, Nintendo Direct's tomorrow. I'm excited. Outstanding. I'm tough as an iceberg, but you smashed me through and through. Suppose you all can get on with it now. This one's alright. Thank you, sir. Some may still have their doubts about a stranger like Shiny, but I'll vouch for her. And if you insist on quelling Alvalon's frenzy, you'll want to claim some of that internal ice. He likes and brings it to my lord's seat. Good luck. Internal ice is it. For that, you'll have to be able to fly, which means you need Braviary. Long story short, you got to seek out a young lady named Sabi. Tell the long story, Log. You're not saving any time if we wasted puzzling out what you mean. What is wrong? Bro, y'all. It didn't have Log. What of the Pearl Clan's lord? Seems a bit odd for me to do the talking. But fine, listen up. The eternal ice stuff can be found atop Avalon's legacy here. But to get there, you'll need my clan's help. Not even Sneezer could climb this surface, let alone a person like you or me. You're going to have to approach by air with Bravery's help. Rick once managed to climb nearly to the top of Avalon's legacy. I'll have you know. He says he might. He says he made it to. He made it to within six feet of the top. Might makes right or at least height. And uh, about Sabi, how do I put this? Even when she's not flying with Bravery, she's got her head in the clouds. Well, well, you'll understand once you meet her. Head towards Snowpoint Temple, and you'll probably come across her sooner or later. What? Sabi? Oh, well, that saves time. Oh, Lord.
I'm sorry. I'm just very distracted on the Braviary. It looks very different. And that's a child with a stairwetted bird. I see what you meant about Sabi, but why would she be up there? Seems you better focus on pursuing word is Sabi and let me focus on my workout while I still can. Okay. Um, small child, let me use your bird. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go up to you now. How the, oh, okay, I guess I just walk up you. I was supposed to climb up to her. Hello, Sabi. Hello, my name's Sabi. Nice to meet you, Shiny. Pleasure's all mine. I heard about you. You're super talented, right? I bet you're gonna be fun to play- Excuse me? I know why you're here, too. You want Braviary's help so you can quell Avalon's frenzy, don't you? Well, you'll get it. If you can catch me for- Bro, what? Let's go, Braviary. You better not be in the air, bird. Catch up to Sabi. Where'd she even go, first of all? What the f- Alright. Oh. She really just got on the bird and flew away and said, Catch me. Oh yeah, that Nintendo Direct. That's soon. I mean... Should I do a live reaction to it or not? You know what? I'll do a live reaction to it. It's something for the channel. Hopefully Nintendo's like, No! We can't record our shit! Give, give, if, if. Shut up. Shut up. You want us to watch it, right? I'm basically watching it, but I'm recording it. Ain't no difference. So I guess I'll do a live reaction to that. What I want to see most is Kirby. Because I really want to do a Let's Play on that new Kirby game dropping. It's funny enough. Did not expect this to become a Nintendo channel. I literally, I li my first uploads back to YouTube was Dragon Ball, and now I'm playing, I'm playing two Pokemon games, and I want to play Kirby. I, it just happened. He made it all the way up here in this cold. But the question is, did you catch me, or did I let myself get caught? Hmm. Oh, and one more thing, and I am really clairvoyant. What? I never heard these words before in my life. I like her design, she looks cool. Um, no one but me could really know, right? Anyway, the challenge continues. The next stop of our merry chase is Snowpoint Temple. But the real question here is, am I really having fun playing with you or am I bored? I mean... Play a catch, like, you could play Uno. Fighters or something. Actually, fighters might be too much for you. I don't even think my own friends have fun playing fighters with me. Because I'm too cracked. Oh my! Alright. Where's my bird at? I have a bird. Why can't I just get on Star Raptor and fly over to you? I'm gonna die by fall damage. Okay, there we go. This game got that freaking Minecraft fall damage sometimes. Fall down by like one feet and break my legs. Good thing. These Pokemon I ride on. Yeah. Helping me get down easier instead of just breaking my... Is that Obama? Obama doesn't see me. Get a sneak attack on Obama. Obama! He's gonna get out that. That's why I sleep behind him. You get him from behind! God damn it. Uh, look how he's running towards me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm a one-shot Obama fire thing. He's literally a freaking my agile style is so I don't. That was an agile style move. Have in mind, agile agile style nursed the damage, and Obama almost died. Hitting Obama with fire is really a death wish. Buff Obama. 
Oh, he might break out. Oh, never mind. I mean, you could still catch, you could still catch Pokemon like that, but I'm assuming that's just a chance game for them to break out. Let's catch the baby Obama now. Baby Obama. Baby Obama. Blah, 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 blah. We got baby Obama. Catch this alpha over here too. I mean, I'm playing Chase. Might as well catch some alphas while I'm doing it. She can wait. She said she was she was bored playing with me. I'm a fun guy. What guy? Got my job. Okay, I'm pretty sure this guy can take a fire thing. Why do you know that? Why do you know that? Oh, perfect. You know what? I'll just throw an Ultra Ball now. Maybe we'll get him. It's not evolved, so I don't assume it's gonna struggle. Yeah, we got it. Alright. To our destination. Let's see, if I see any more new Pokemon, we will get them in the... About that, but it cares about me. Uh, we know all. <laughs> I don't feel like it. She's probably gonna say, Catch me like 12 more times, so I'm not gonna waste time catching more stuff. I have him. I have him also. Wait, that was the same Pokemon. They're literally everywhere. Right? That's a baby breviary. Watch there be an alpha on here. This looks like an alpha spawn point. Oh wow, there's nothing here. But a lot of baby birds. Man, I can I'll catch one of them. If they don't see me, I can sneak one. Because wing balls, they are, they are really good. Ooh, I know I got him. I know I got him. Yep. You, sir, mind your own business. We ball get clapped up. Hi again, shiny. It's good. Nice having someone new out here to play with. Safety in numbers or something like that. Anyway, here's Snow Point Temple. I've opened the front door for you. Just a little more chasing left for you to do. But the real question here is, am I really having fun playing with you or am I bored? Hmm. Let me guess, you're gonna say let's go. Oh. Hold up! I heard what Warden Sabi said. If you have Warden Sabi's approval to enter, then by all means do so. But be warned. Those who cannot solve the temple's puzzles won't get very far within. I've heard that the trick is to pay attention to which way the stone statues are looking. Come to think of it, I believe the statues have some sort of patterns on their chest too. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end the episode right here. So if you watch this video from start to finish, thank you so, so much. I truly appreciate it. Take it easy and I'll see you guys in the next episode.